Here you go, friends. Here are the remaining three Try Guys. I'm going to put it right over chat. So y'all y'all get to watch it with me. But we're going to get into it, yeah. Anyone not following along is getting banned. You heard him what I already said. All right, y'all, we're going to watch it. It's going to be a good time. Ready? Ned Fulmer is no longer working with the Try Guys. By now, we're assuming you've seen the Reddit threads and TikToks and tweets and news articles. We want to give you a timeline of... Before we get into it, look at how mad Eugene looks. Eugene is the third one all the way on the left. Anyways, I couldn't do anything that entire week internet-wise, and I felt... Fine, but it felt good to refresh, but at the same time, it also was like, I'm missing out on so much. Coolio passed away. I missed that also because I was at games. I missed a lot of stuff that happened in the internet space, bro. It's nuts. It's nuts. Dream did a face reveal. And also, can we just talk about um, Dream being a trash human being? It doesn't matter what he looked like. Not only did he cheat on his significant other, but he's racist, homophobic, transphobic, ableist, whole list of other things. There's a lot of things you could find on the internet about him. If you ever want to take a look at it, that is all there. However, not supporting that man. Um, also, he just looked like Shane Dawson and Matt Pat got together, had a little love child, and I really am not about it. Like, I'm not going to say he ugly or anything like that. You know what's another thing that's rude? When he did his face reveal, y'all, Twitter trended, he's ugly. The way I would have literally like jumped off a building the way I, I could not handle that couldn't be me couldn't be me imagine hyping up your face reveal for years for all of twitter to go you ugly like i would he is a white man he is a white man it's it's disappointing but not surprising you know it's one of those i'm not saying that he's ugly either don't take this out of context he's not an ugly man i am just saying in general people tend to hype up those that they can't see the face of. So I'm nervous for Corpse also. Corpse is never going to do a face reveal after this. I want y'all to know. I want y'all to know Corpse is never going to do one because of how they treated Dream. Everybody hypes up and sees a vision of what this person looks like in their head. And therefore, Zay, I swear to God. And therefore, they start to build him up as like the epitome of handsome and the epitome of beauty. But like, that's not how it works. Hi, Kaiten. How are you? Hello. I miss you. I hope you're doing well. Um, but yeah, so like y'all, they hyped him up and because they hyped him up so much, he didn't live up to those expectations. Good to know. Never having a camera on if I stream Pete, you're gorgeous. Don't, don't do this. Um, corpse of the voice is all I need. Same, but we're going to get back into the try guys. I just needed to point out Eugene. Um, I'm <clears throat> looking over at the screen. Keith looks like he's about to cry. I like that Zach is just there. What's Zach is doing the talking and some transparency into our decision making. Throughout this video, there will be things that we want to say or go into further, but as I'm sure you're aware, there are some legal issues we have to consider yep. as we go through everything. HR nightmare, also. On Labor Day weekend, multiple fans alerted us that they had seen Ned uh, and an employee engaging in public romantic behavior. We reached Public romantic behavior. Keith and Grant look so similar, it's crazy. Yes, thank you for shouting out Pete. Um... P's voice gets me bricked anyways, get, sends me. Um, but, like, public romantic behavior. They was macking at the Harry Styles concert here in my city. Pause. We're going to stop. I have ADHD. I'm sorry. We're going to continue. We're going to. Reached out to check on that employee. Uh, Ned confirmed the reports and since confirmed that this had Look been Look at Eugene. On. Look at Eugene on the left, bro. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. We're going back. We're going back. Look at Eugene's face. Eugene is livid because him and Ariel are best friends, bro. Ariel is Ned's wife. We're going to give context. Ned is the fourth Try Guy that literally just got kicked out of the Try Guys. Um, and um, Ariel is Ned's wife, hopefully now ex-wife, and the mother of two of his children. Um, uh, Keith's wife, whose name I'm forgetting off the top, Becky. Becky. Becky never liked Ned, y'all. Becky never, ever liked Ned. Ned was never a real homie. Keith tries to stay away from Ned as much as possible. Also, hi, Jody. Eugene is serving looks always. However, the fact that not only was Keith's wife like, nah, not about it. Eugene, that's his best friend, bro. That's literally his best friend. You're gonna cheat on Eugene's best friend, your partner in the company that y'all own together. Make it make sense. And doing it publicly, too. You've been married to your wife for 10 years and you're going to cheat? <coughs> you're just going to cheat like that publicly? 
Also, yeah, I got you. I got you, Brian. We're gonna raise it. We're gonna crank it. But, like, bro, you're gonna cheat publicly like that? Like, make it make sense. Oh my god, Johnny, you and I can have this conversation. The way that Gabe only knows of the Try Guys, I don't even think he knows all of the tea or the lore that's involved. I've been watching them since I was in high school. I love these dudes. Um, specifically, never liked Ned, I'm not gonna lie. Like, Ned was never my favorite. Eugene always has been, and Keith was, like, high up there. Um, Zach was kind of, like, third, and then Ned was fourth always. But those two were my top two, and I loved them. Um, speaking of top groups, Drawfee is gonna be... Anime NYC, if y'all are gonna be there... Let me know. I will be there too. November 18th and November 19th. Come through. If you're going to be there, I'll be dressed as Shinobu on Friday and Toko Fukawa on Saturday. Hit my line. Jacob Javits Center. Hit my line. Anyways. On Labor Day weekend, multiple fans alerted us that they had seen Ned uh, and an employee engaging in public romantic behavior. We reached out okay, to Eugene, check on that employee. Uh, Ned confirmed the reports and since confirmed that this had been going on for some time, which was obviously very shocking. He's shaking his head. Eugene is sitting there like... <sighs> like, I'm waiting for the mouth pops. He hasn't done it yet, but, like, I know. I know. I'm living for the tea. It's a five-minute video. It's red and it rhymes with Ned was so annoying. I hate him. It's okay. It's fine. Talking to us, and we just want you to know that we had no idea this was going on. Uh, all of that information was just as shocking to us as all of this has been for you this week. Damn. And thus began a three-week process of engaging with employment lawyers, corporate lawyers, HR, Oof. PR, and more in order to make sure we were taking all necessary steps. From the jump, we were acutely aware. He is so mad. Y'all hear his cadence of his voice? He is angry. He is upset. Bro. In order to make sure we were taking all necessary steps. From the jump, we were acutely aware of just how contrary this was to the values of the company we've built and those of everyone who works here. Damn. This. Ooh, the heavy breathing. Oh no. Eugene. Eugene, my baby. I'm about to cry for them. This sucks. Dude, this sucks. Ah. Oh. He did the, like the, he did the angry breath. Ooh. I heard that. Yeah, the oof is right. God damn. God damn, we're go I'm sorry I keep pausing and going back, but this is like nuts to me. Really aware of just how contrary this was to the values of the company we've built and those of everyone who works here. This is something we took very seriously. Look at Keith's we face. <laughs> Keith, bro. We're gonna go back frame by frame for that one because that one was good. Wait, wait. This Look at Keith. Watch Keith. Is something he looks so disgusted, bro. He said. Very seriously, we refused to sweep things under the rug. Good. That is not who we are and it's not what we stand for. We immediately removed Ned from work activities and engaged an HR professional to conduct a thorough review of the facts. We also opted to remove Ned from our releases pending the re results of that review. Over a few weeks, that's included removing his section from videos, digitally removing him from others, and choosing not to feature him in our merch throws. Honestly, I want to give uh, major props to our editing staff for how deftly they've handled that. There are several videos that we've deemed as fully unreleasable. You will never see them, and that is due to his involvement. And that's a decision that has cost us <laughs> lots of money. Um, we will not be able to recoup that money, but it's a decision we stand by proudly. Good. Now we can't talk about the details of the review, but suffice. Keith, come on, Keith. I know, I know. Becky has the details of the review. I know she has the details. Give it to me, <laughs> literally, give it to me. I'm nosy. I'm nosy. I want to know. Oh my God, Keith, you can't just sit there and be like, "Well, I can't tell you," but because there's lawyers involved, I can't. I can't be mad at them, but I understand. I get it. We stand by proudly. Now, we can't talk about the details of the review, but suffice to say, we found that Ned had engaged in contact, we, well, conduct unbecoming contact. of our team. And contact, uh-huh. Yeah, just all up on the Harry Styles concert. We knew that we could not move forward with him. Valid. So on Friday, September 16th, the three of us signed written consent of the members of Second Try LLC approving the removal of Ned as a manager and an employee.
we chose not to rush into the announcement for a few reasons. Namely, there are real people who have been affected. Ariel. And while we consider this a company matter, um, there's just also a family at the center of this. Now, we were always planning on a public statement, and we're working towards that with our team, but in light of rapidly accelerating speculation, we knew we couldn't wait any longer. We are obviously incredibly shocked and deeply hurt by all of this. This is someone who we'd built a brand and a company with for eight years. We feel Eugene, we it's feel okay, saddened, baby. not just personally, but on behalf of our staff and our fans who believed in us. I don't know that we'll ever be able to fully articulate the pain we feel at this moment. It's hard to rewatch old videos that we love and are proud of. We're losing a friend, we're losing someone we, we built the company with, we have countless memories with. We, we just made a TV show together. It's, I'm sure many of You're you feel Food Network, the same way. It's weird. We're sorry that this ever happened and we, we don't know what more to say. And there's also our staff of 20 strong who they just don't deserve the negative attention our brand is now getting because they didn't do anything. But they're our family and they're some of the most talented, creative minds in the world and our primary focus right now is making sure they feel comfortable and proud coming to work. The work they do never ceases to astound us, and, and frankly, there's just no world in which we could have navigated all this without them. Now, there are videos that were shot ahead of all this, right? We're going to be editing Ned out like the new season of Without a Recipe, and we're working with our editors and finding creative solutions to the footage. And we also have some branded videos that we've already committed to. So when you see a video that's sponsored in a few weeks and you're like, oh, that's kind of weird. Well, yeah, it is kind of weird. Um, it's just how things are, and that, that's why. Look, I get that when stuff like this happens, there's going to be speculation and gossip. And we ask that you respect the privacy of the family members and employees who may be caught up in this. We also want to remind you that the internet has a tendency to be a lot harsher towards women than men. So please, we ask that you exercise kindness. Things will change. That being said, that being said, Ned already horrible person right eugene is 100 percent right for that for that sentence 100 percent. however my girl alex which i believe is her name because i've been having so many names swirling in my head lately that it's kind of blowing my brain um but alex had a 10 year relationship with her fiance they were engaged. Try Guys bought her a wedding dress for her wedding. They were engaged. Ten years of your life with someone that you've built. They both threw that away for each other. For, for the ridicule and the finger pointing and the blaming and the scrutiny that they would come under from the internet because you are internet personalities like she's still as much at fault as he is she knew he was married with two kids she knew that he also knew she was engaged to somebody that she's been with for 10 years like they both are at fault like come on like you're both in trouble for this because you're both stupid like point blank you're dumb you're dumb dumb range here uh what we hope is that within this, there's also the opportunity for positive growth and better videos ahead. Uh, you know what? Make me the next Try Guy. Make me the next Try Guy. Yo, the way I would... Make me the next Try Guy. I'll do it. Audition me. I'll do it. But it's going to be hard. It's This whole thing is going to be really fucking hard. Yeah. And we imagine you have lots of questions, lot more questions right now. And, and we're going to have more to say in the future. Uh, just right now, we're focused on bringing the best content possible between now and the end of the year, and then figuring out what the future of this channel looks like from there. That's it for now. Again, more to come. Some things may change. We are just sort of figuring it out all one day at a time. Thank you for your support. We appreciate you. And we look forward to introducing you to the next era of the Try Guys Ahead. Damn, you're just gonna end it like that. Don't look at my recommended. Um, they just gonna end it like that. That's crazy. We going through the comments, y'all, cause that is Ariel and the babies, bro. Eugene is heated, as we said. We know. We're aware. That's crazy.
That's nuts. Well, that's that. Um, I needed to talk about the tea because I was like, sir, you can't just be doing that randomly. Like, come on, bro. Imagine destroying the entire brand that you've built for over eight years. Camera, not now. Over eight years, bro. Eight years. And you threw it away for some young Punani. Young Coochie, if you will. Young Coochie. Like, come on, bro. Come on.